Okay, I'm gonna go over how to overcome any objection you hear in contracting. What is the universal objection in construction? It's uncertainty. And so what you wanna do is you wanna to look to build certainty in you, the personal service that you bring to the job, the way in which you handle the client, the way in which you service your projects. Okay, I want you to talk about your company, the longevity of them being in business, their track record of success, their case studies, what differentiate them, any accolades or partnerships with material, and your process. Exactly what do you do to deliver? What separates you in actual delivery? How do you actually uh, do things in a way that nobody else does? And really, you want to deal with like these most common objections when they say, hey, that's great, but I need to talk it over with my business partner. I need to talk it over with my wife. Okay, really what you want to do with this is you want to find out if there's somebody else in the buying process really early on in the deal. So what that means is, is that you ask them, like in that probing phase when you're asking questions, hey, do you have somebody that's going to be making this decision or are you in charge of this? Is, is, is there going to be somebody else or are you the bottom line? Are you the guy that is the buck stop with you? And most of the time if you've got somebody that's a decision maker, he takes ownership of that right then. And if he takes ownership of it right then, then later on in the sale you can say, I thought you said that the buck stops with you. And so another thing that you can do is you can say, well, what if they tell you no? Would you do it anyways? I mean I got that one from Grant Cardone and it really works. A lot of times I say, hey just do it for me. Uh, and I guarantee that my product and service is going to deliver on the promise. So what I really do, okay, whenever you talk about the main thing is, you know, make them take ownership of the decision early on in the process and, you know, really find out, you know, what it is that that business partner is, or wife is holding them back for. And so in that second layer of questioning, I would say, well, what do you think your wife would say? What if, would, she say, would she object to the price? Would she object to our company? Or would she object to the fact that I cold called you? And so, you know, you kind of throw out your objections right there and you get to the bottom of it. And now you realize that, you know, really you just need to focus on that bit of certainty. Okay, how do you deal with right, not right now, maybe later, is you talk about how busy that you are as a contractor, how many projects that you have coming up and you build massive value in the fact that you can give them a price that you can guarantee right now. See, in construction, material prices go up, labor prices go up. The busier I get, the harder it is for me to deliver exactly what they want. So if they're not gonna do it right now, you have to ask them, when do you think is gonna be a good time? Is it gonna be in 30 days, in 60 days, or in six months? And you know, if you're in that 30 to 60 day time period, what I'd like to do is I'd like to say, if you're gonna do it then, just do it now anyways, because how would you feel if the process had already got started? It starts with the commitment. What I find out is if I commit now and figure it out later, a lot of times I get more done, and I really wanna see you get this problem accomplished. I wanna get you see, see you get this problem solved. So it's really gonna cost you more money because you got two choices. You can continue doing what you've done up to this point and getting the same results, or you can try the program that we've used for all these past years with proven results and you can get an immediate solution to your problem. Okay, that's how you talk to them about that. How do you deal with your price is too high? Now, you know, price is too high is just a complaint and when you're talking about your price is too high, you really have to find out if you're comparing apples to apples, oranges to oranges, because everything in construction is based on a scope of loss. So, you know, really what you want to do is you want to get that customer to get that other proposal in front of them. So that maybe you're not talking about the price that you want to look at, you just want to see if we're really comparing apples to apples, oranges to oranges. That's the first step. The second step is really to build value in the security and the professionalism and the guarantee of your company. Because there's so many risky contractors out there. You just think about you know, what can happen if there's not the right insurance, what can happen if the job takes longer than expected, and you really have to kind of prioritize with them if they're looking for an efficient, fast product, if they want the best materials, if they want the best labor, if they have all these like buying questions that they're asking specifically about your product. That's when you know that your price is justified, that your value is there. And all you have to do is show not tell them that value and continue to build value in your company, continue to build value in your process, continue to build value in you personally because one thing is they may be able to go get the same construction from another contractor but they cannot get you so that's the one thing that you have to build real certainty in is your personal service and what you do for your clients they're on the phone with you you need to leverage that to close the deal you know a lot of times 
people will tell you they already have a contractor and you have to tell them that you completely understand. You know, that's pretty much what everybody tells me. What I want to do is spend some time with you and most people find out when they spend time with me that they get a lot more of the contractor that they already have. You know, they get a better line of questions for material, for labor. They might even get a better price. So if you just spend a little time with me going through my solution, I guarantee you you're going to get a better, better deal with your contractor. And then what you want to do is you want to talk about how you differentiate yourself. How, what's different about how you do business. And then talk about an immediate service and really, you know, talk about the risk of someone that's not as specialized as you. Selling is telling. Closing is logic. And somebody who is not interested has not identified with the pain point. You have not asked enough questions. You have not shown them the problem. And they, they have to have a problem before they have a solution, and you have to have their attention. And you know, you might just ask them flat out, do you believe anything that's coming out of my mouth? You know, if you do not have their attention, one thing that'll do is that'll get them paying attention to you. And you can ask them right off the bat, you know, do you think this is not worth your time? And you know, what happens if this happens? Would, would, would that really hurt you? Now they're maybe listening to you. You can get some interest. You can build some sense of urgency. You build the sense of urgency with your emotion and then you close with logic. That's how you overcome any objection in contracting, okay? But really going back to the first thing, it's about building certainty. It's about identifying their biggest pain point and going back to building certainty in you, your company, and your process. That's how you overcome any objection in contracting.